Eric here with another update. So I have not comp done much more uh, building of the Master Great Ball, but instead I've been working on the panel lining. Well, I've been using a fine point Sharpie, which is not a fine point at all. Well, I don't know if this is supposed to be fine, but it's pretty fat. So pretty much every time I do a pan lining, I need to use a tissue and wipe the hell out of it. And it's kind of a lengthy process. Because sometimes there's just some par some ink that just refuses to come off. So I have to keep on scrubbing and scrubbing. And sometimes I manage to scrub too much. And I have to reapply it a little. And my Sharpie is actually starting to run. It looks like it's going to run out of ink at, like in the near future so I was thinking what should I use to replace it because uh, well, if, well if I order from Gundam Store more then obviously I would want to get the Gundam fine point mar marker right I'm not sure if that would be any thinner than the Sharpie fine point and plus it's supposed to be paint so I think that would be harder to clean up so, if you guys have any insight on that, let me know. Or there's also, like, there's uh, those uh, really super thin pens. I can look into that. So if anyone has any suggestions on uh, what kind of pens or markers to use for pen aligning, just definitely let me know in a comment. And, uh... Well, also, my friend intends on ordering some model kits soon, so I'm going to order with him to save on shipping, and I'm thinking of getting the Triple Dom box set, because uh, a regular high-grade Universal Century Dom slash Rick Dom is like $18, and as far as I can tell, it's just a Dom, but with swappable the swap the soles of the feet and uh the ass rocket is swappable so that seems kind of expensive for eighteen dollars so for the jet the triple dom jet stream attack version that's three of them for around like forty four dollars so that's like the price of two of the doms you get a third one of course you won't i won't be able to build a rick dom but I think it's worth it and also I'm gonna pick, try to pick up the two of the older 0080 GM commands well for the high grade universal century ones they're a bit more expensive and the beam savers are glued to the hand are molded into the hand and I can always pick those up later because the high grade universal century sets have a much higher stock while for the older sets they tend to run out of stock much quicker and I guess Bandai doesn't reissue them as often as the newer ones. And whoops. And I think I'm also considering getting a Gilgu slash Gilgu cannon. Well that set is also kinda of expensive. But at least it has a huge cannon and and uh, different uh, weapons. So, uh, well, speaking of that set, I, I'm wondering if anyone has bought in like two of them. One to build a Gelgu and another one to build a Gelgu cannon. Although it's kind of expensive because you're basically paying 40 bucks to get two Gelgugs and you're going to be left over with a bunch of accessories that you can't really use although maybe I was thinking if in the future if I bought m multiples of the Gyoku maybe I can modify the the cannon backpack to turn it into some kind of turret some kind of turret but that would require some creative uh, modeling skills which I currently do not have so uh I guess I could finish up on the pan lining later and I should try to finish building the set as soon as possible. 
So I guess that's it for today. No other videos because uh, I was working on this and also helping my parents out in the backyard putting up uh, wooden planks for the future melons and beans to grow onto us for support. So that'll be it for this video and for today. See you guys next time.